every fiber in your being is screaming to tell you to change your life and you try and go in this circle where you try and then you fall off and then you try and then you fall off for some reason you can't stick to it you cannot make this shift from your current identity to the new one that you're so desperately trying to get to you hi guys i'm ren welcome or welcome back to my channel this is where we level up and become the best baddest versions of ourselves together so if you are ready to be a part of this gang and you feel like you're in your leveling up season please subscribe and join us for weekly videos this video is all about the auto ego effect and using it to change your life because i'll be honest for me i always say it's a game changer but this really really helped transform me and help me become my new identity because we all know or most of us know what we want but making that big shift to being that person is just like how do we get there how do we become this new identity that we so desperately want but we're kind of in a struggle of how to get there well girl i got you what is an alter ego an alter ego is an ego you make up to be this new version of yourself so for example beyonce has stasha fear so that is her performance girl that is who she goes on the stage as stasha fierce when she's doing all her sexy moves and she's just being that confident bae that we all know and love that is her alter, e alter ego stasha fierce. and a lot of people have them and it's basically just putting on this new personality it's like putting on a new wig do you know what i mean like you just you know you name your wig and you just feel like you're that girl and you have stacy on <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna name this one yet but anyway i'm gonna have to call it the name but it is it's like putting on a new wig or a new outfit or whatever that thing is for you and you just feel fresh you feel like you are that girl so it is so important for us all to have one because acting is a part of life putting on a face putting on an act sometimes is a part of life yes people say oh don't be fake be transparent be authentic 100 percent, i'm all for that but sometimes the situations where we are so uncomfortable and we are so out of our comfort zone where we do need to alter ego something just to give us that confidence and give us that boost how the hell do you create one so first of all you've got to sit down and think what do i want my alter my alter ego to be you might have a celebrity, you might have someone specific in person that like you're in love with and you just love everything about them and their whole concept and their look and their vibe and their lifestyle and you're like, okay, I'm going to be that person. For example, if I was going to pick a person, I might pick like Laurie Harvey because I just love everything about her whole vibe, aesthetic, her attitude towards men right now. I just love it. So I might pick her or you can just pick another version of yourself. So for me, my alter ego person is Spartan Wren. So that's where that name Spartan come from. But basically, I read this book by Gia Lambert, Men Don't Love Women Like You Do. And he all talks about women just being Spartans, like be a Spartan, be a Spartan. And then I thought, oh my God, I love that, like Spartan Wren. So for me, if I'm doing something I'm uncomfortable with or I, I'm acting as if I am my dream girl, I'm living that life, I'm the girl I want to be in the future, I'm like Spartan Wren, Spartan Wren. So how do we even get started? Journal. I always talk about your journal, but go back to basics, get your journal. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your life to look like? Write down every single detail and think about the type of person you'd need to be to achieve that life, to have that lifestyle. So it might be confident, it might be outgoing, organized, neat, tidy, you're friendly, you make loads of connections, you're good at socializing. Whatever those characteristics are, you need to write them down and create a whole person. But like romanticize it so what would she wear what would she look like what do you want your dream girl aesthetic to look like because when you feel and you look like that vibe it's so much easier to act what do, what does that girl do does she wake up at 5am and go pilates does she drink green tea instead of frappuccinos do you know what i mean does she create all this content that she's going to make but she's just too scared to do what does a day in the life of that version of you look like write it down plan it out to an absolutely absolute tea and then start acting then you have your blueprint okay you have your blueprint get it down so it's neat it's organized and then i would recommend transferring it to your phone so get it in your journal or scrambled whatever you just kind of get it out then get it into your phone of alter ego version of me or alter ego or the name however you want to name it put a list every morning wake up and read it Wake up and read it and remind yourself because you'll forget. 
in hard moments, in tough moments, in sad moments, you will forget that version. So every morning you need to wake up and remember you are that girl. How the how do you put it into effect? So like I said, let's start off with waking up if you read it all the little things it might be even for me it was like okay i want to be like a wellness girl that I mean i want to drink green teas and matchas and green juices i want to do pilates i want to do yoga so one of my first steps was joining the gym where it matched my dream girl aesthetic listen i have never spent so much on the gym in my life but i'm telling you when i go into the gym in my little cute outfit and i go to my pilates class with my little green shake or I get one from the coffee shop. I just feel like a whole vibe. I feel like I'm romanticizing that routine and that new part of my identity. My gym is literally attached to my new identity. It doesn't make sense to me right now financially. It doesn't match my aesthetic to my life right now, but it matches my new dream girl aesthetic. Do you get it? So that whole part of me is like, that's what I wanna be doing in the future. I wanna go to this gym every single day at 5 a.m and just do Pilates, do yoga, be there all day, work in the coffee shop, on my Apple Mac, I'm chilling, I'm doing my content. I've literally dreamt it, like I've visualized the whole situation. So that's where it starts. It starts by making those little changes that that new version of yourself would do. Would that new version cut her hair? Would she wear it? Is there a certain aesthetic you've wanted to try for ages, but you've been scared to do it, or you haven't got around to do it? Go and do it. Maybe you're thinking about moving, and you ha you've got a kind of certain budget but you'd really love to go for something a bit more aesthetically pleasing or a luxury apartment and you could do it but it would be a struggle but you know if you do it the whole vibe the whole feeling you would get off it would just make you want to work harder would make you want to achieve that lifestyle quicker and be more obsessed with getting on your shit and doing what you need to do go and do that but they're big steps you can start simple for example like yeah i want to be a 5am girl getting up at 5am I'd love to have that aesthetic, my hair like this, my like look like this or wear this. It can start small, but I'm telling you, the bigger shifts you make in this new alter ego, the quicker your life will absolutely change. And anytime you're feeling fear or you're feeling scared, Spartan Red is Spartan, we're doing this. She has no fear. And that's the thing, you have to give this alter ego characteristics. Would she be scared? Would she be confident? Would she go and talk to a stranger? Would she go and ask that question even though they might tell her no? She's asking anyway because she doesn't give a damn. Or I recommend doing a 30 day challenge. I've seen a lot of girls on TikTok do this and I think it's an absolute vibe. So record it. And the thing is you don't have to post it. It can be very personal for you. But imagine recording it for every single day for 30 days on what you'd feel like at the end and like the transformation because you would have come on heaps and bounds. So even give it a 30 day go and see how it goes. But I really urge you to record it, even if it is just for your personal use, because every day recording it and seeing your journey and go, I'm all about recording everything because one thing I tell you is I'm ready for that transformational video. I'm ready for it. I absolutely love watching them. And I think that is so sick. Like You've done that and it might have took you a year, two years, and now you can actually show the world and like even look at it for yourself. I think it's so amazing. So definitely try and do a 30 day challenge if you can. Even if you don't want to like post it, do it for yourself. So you have something to get up and work towards every single day. And then you can look back week by week and see the improvement. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.